Hello and welcome to episode 60 of series 3 of Master League Story Mode. So you might remember, end of the last episode, we uh, showed incredible spirit, incredible heart. Ian Holloway would have been very, very proud of his players. So we came back to win 3-2 against Hull. We're still top of the league. Yes, we are. But what we realised in the last episode is we need some reinforcements and we need them pretty much now. So... A lot of you got back to me about what we thought re-transfers. And I think we can all agree that Rusnak, Adarabio and Randall uh, with Matthews, Friday and De Jong going out is a decent, yeah, it's a decent trade. Those three. The other options were maybe sell Chaloba and uh, Marlon Pack. I think we can avoid selling Marlon Pack, which would be nice. We need to get this sorted now. And we want Randall, Adarabio and Rusnak as a minimum. And without having to sell too many players would be great. These three players combined, it's uh, just a shade over 16 million, 16.1 million. So let's go and have a look, see who we can get rid of. We, I think we need to make this decision now, wait any longer. And it might be the case that not having backup at centre-back, not having a proper attacking midfield backup as well, might come back and haunt us. And Randall's a bit of a luxury for us, but uh, he's one that I really wanted at the club. And uh, we've got a chance to now, so we might as well go with it. And to afford it, we can sell De Jong, Matthews, and Fred Friday. So I think we'll just do it. I think no, none of those three players, although we like them all in their own way, De Jong was a promising youngster. But uh, despite what some of you have said in the comments, Rusnak is, is a far better player. And uh, in terms of a stand-in, he's, he's just significantly better. So we've got to go for him. Matthews we love, but Becker has definitely taken his place pretty comfortably. And Randall will add a different challenge for Becker to keep that right spot because uh, Randall's a really cultured right back. It's something that I wanted to uh, wanted to get to compliment Angelino out on that left-hand side, who's been a cultured left back for us and a real danger. And then Fred Friday. Well, this is the tricky one. We don't want to get rid of the fridge, but we've got three strikers who we'd play ahead of him. I don't know why we're doing this. He's such a great player, but I feel like his time's up. I feel like his time's up. So Fred Friday, I can't believe we're saying goodbye to the freak. The freak so chic. 7.5 million is a pretty decent transfer for him, though. Adam Matthews. Our Welsh boy -o. Our boy uh, No, is that Ian Holloway or is that Welsh? I'm not even sure. But, yeah, well, I think we'll see him off as well. And he'll, uh, he'll, be, he'll be seen off by the fans as a hero. One of the players key to us getting to this position. Getting Bristol City to be one of the best sides in the world. And then De Jong, he's been a bit of a disappointment, so that's not so much of a blow to us. And that gives us 20 million. We are going to have a little bit of change around to make another signing, but we'll go through here and we'll just tick these off. It's Rusnak, Albert Rusnak, coming in from Groningen. He's actually, I think, at Real Salt Lake or somewhere in the MLS at the moment. Um, scouting report from a commenter who's, I can't remember who it was, one of the Dutch contingent. Big up to all the Dutch watchers of this channel. Fourth highest representation from a country. I'm totally down with that. Uh, Rusnak, quality player. The scout report has been good and he looks great. He's got great explosive power. He's got a bit of the Kieran Dow to him. Great ball control. Uh, finishing is on point as well. I'm happy with that. A Adarabio on a loan from City. Uh, we could go back in and try and get an um, option to buy, but we don't need to. And for 400000 on the loan for six months, that's, that's a great signing. Really good backup there. And Randall, well, we want him for his passing ability. We certainly aren't getting him for his body control uh, or maybe his strength. His ball win is good, though. He's a good all-round right back. If we'd had him... From early doors, he's 24 now. We we would have been able to turn him into one of the best right backs in the world. I'm sure of that. We probably won't have time to now, but what we've got, I like from him. And that leaves us with 4.8. Now, what this does give us the option of, and uh, had a great comment from new commenter Bruno, who uh, I'm a big fan of. Excellent contributions to the comment section. Uh, I, whether or not I mention this, I probably don't mention it enough, but I fucking love all of your comments. Sorry, now I'm trying not to swear. I, I freaking no. I just really, really enjoy all of your comments. And uh, especially anyone who's getting really into this series like I do, that is what makes this channel for me. You know, that's why I started it in the first place, you know, to try and convey some of the passion and how invested I get in these Master Leagues, try and get other people involved. And to have achieved that and have people who will talk to me about the decisions we're making, it is a dream come true for me. It's an absolute dream come true. And Bruno suggested that maybe we're a little bit quick to uh, rule out signing Boje because actually we would have now had enough money to go back in for him. So let's go and find Boje. There he is. Four strikers to replace Fred Friday. Is it worth it really? Well, what I would say about Boje is, like Simeone, he's a cultured player. Fred Friday was a battering ram of a player. Good finisher, strong, incredibly strong, strong as an ox. 
But that's all he offered, really. And I like my strikers to have a little bit more about them. Something we've really missed in this series. So I'm going to go back in for him. Oh, I can't do it now. Well, we will go back into him after that incredible monologue. But anyway, the, the point stands. Your suggestions are amazing. So there we go. Three new signings. Incredible. Ian Holloway making wholesale changes. Clearing out a bit of the deadwood. Matthews wasn't playing. De Jong wasn't playing. Friday was fourth choice. So not really an option for us. It was ruthless, really, but it needed to be done. We've signed three absolute gems, so I'm really excited to play with them. And they're available today's game, the first of the episode. It's a home game against Derby. We're top of the league. Three exciting new signings. And all three of them are available for Derby today. It's a home game. We're top of the league. We've got three exciting new signings to maybe try out. We've got to win this one. So let's take a look and see how everyone's doing. Well, what we can do here is, because there are some tired legs, we can bring in some of these new recruits. Maybe a bit of a risk to play them all. This could come back and bite us, but... Darabio filling in for a tired Joe Gomez and Randall on for uh, Becker, who also needed a bit of a rest. Everyone else, I think we're going to start with Kieran Dow there. Rusnak could maybe come on. Let's take another look at Rusnak. He's a right-footed player. He's not a big man, but he's got great ball control, great explosive power, and he's quick as well. Good pass through the ball. He's a great signing. And to be fair, it's a shame we've got rid of Friday because we would have then had an Albert, a Nigel, and a Fred that we could have played. What a great selection of names, that old man names that is. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with that side. Derby County playing with a three up front as well. Tomins, maybe the danger man out on the right hand side. But this is a team that we should be beating. And our uh, team spirit has only gone down to 90, so that's, that's pretty decent for me. So as I said, three new signings. We're top of the league. We're at home. Anything less than an absolute spanking for Derby County would be a huge disappointment to the Ashton Gate faithful. Let's get into it. So you join us here is Connor Randall, new signing, about to uh, take his first throw in of his Bristol City career. Really excited to have him in the side. He offers uh, something a bit different out on this right-hand side. And he'll go with the early cross now. Looking for Giovanni Simeone. He's just about ahead of that wide. That's what we want from Randall. That's what we're getting from him. He's a player who can pick a pass. And this was simple stuff to find him there. And he whipped in an early ball. Great passer of the ball. Simeone got up. We should be seeing more of that. It's a good quick ball into Wilson there. Darabio, his first start in a Bristol City shirt. He can't quite get that one away. And Kamara will lay up. Oh, that's a lovely ball into Wilson. The turning header is something of incredible quality. And we're down here early to Derby County. I cannot believe that. I mean, it's a great goal. There's not really much we could do about that. Darabio tried to win it back. Did a pretty good job. It came off Loftus-Cheek's hand. This ball back here to Will Hughes. And it's a great ball in from him. But that header, something quite special. Christie now. Derby starting the game really strongly. There's no doubt about it. Marty trying to make a use of himself. Wilson, the goal scorer, turns into trouble, but Kieran Dow's giving the ball back to him. Looking back into the box for him. Randall can't clear. Does eventually win it. And then his pass will find Nigel Robertha. Push it wide to Angelina out on the left hand side. He'll get his first touch of the game. As he drives at the defence. Ball inside to Simeone. He has it nicked off him. Kieran Dow into the box will hit it with the right foot. Decent effort. Easy save for Carson in the end. Dow wins it back in an advanced position. Now look to run at this defence. Little chip ball in looking for Giovanni. Simeone hits it first time and he hits that incredibly sweetly. And Giovanni Simeone's goal scoring run continues. I think it's a run. I think he scored in all of his first four games now. I'm not sure of the stats. But that's a great take by the number 10. Kieran Dow to assist to the goal. Judo throws him to the floor there. Let's take another look at that. So the breakdown was nice. Kieran Dow won it back. He's, he's added that to his game recently. He's added a bit of fire. Waiting for the run of Simeone. Beautifully weighted ball. Simeone lets it drop over his head. He just leathers it past Carson. Absolutely nothing the keeper could do there. He's hit that so sweetly. Maybe there was something more he could do. And that's half time here at Ashton Gate. Well, we were shocked early on by a quite spectacular goal. And then it was pressure, pressure, pressure from Bristol City. But we didn't actually have that much possession. We have had more shots on target. I think in this second half, we should be able to show our quality. Um, Randall and Darabia have had decent starts. Um, yeah, I think we've got this. Let's 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 finish this one off, shall we? Tomins lays it off. And it looks to make the run. It's a really nicely weighted pass. Magnuson with the big challenge. Huge challenge there. And Angelino now can bring it forward. He's got Kieran Dow to the right of him. Giovanni Simeone ahead. Decides to go all the way over the top looking for Robertha. It's an optimistic ball. Robertha couldn't latch onto it. Wilson now, the goal scorer. Back to Bryson. Kieran Dow putting the pressure on. Can't quite win it back. Still trying though, but Thorne will spread it now to Christie. 
Derby County come forward here early in this second half. Thorne, lovely ball looking for Ince. Well cut out from Angelino. It's a first time ball into Nigel Robertha. Now we've got men making runs. Loftus Cheeks trying to get involved. Nigel Robertha now. Can he square it to Kieran Dowell? He can. Kieran Dowell now. Can he get the shot away? That's great defending. Cut that one out really well. Lovely chip ball into Kamara. Gets ahead of Darabio. Darabio. Oh, that's great defending. Lovely stuff from the Manchester City youngster. Ooh, nice ball through from Tom Ince, but Amati will come across and deal with that one. In his trademark uncompromising style, and now Angelino lets it run through his legs. Great turn of pace there from Angelino. He'll look to put in an early ball to Roberta. Lays it back, looking for Loftus-Cheek. Should have finished that one there, really. Kieran Dowell, can he find the ball out to Angelino? He can, he's got time to look up. Put it into Nigel Roberta in the cross. Finds Roberta, but he heads wide. Decent build up there from Bristol City. We need this second goal. Oh, Simeone's won it back now, though. Ball inside looking for Roberta. Doesn't fall to him. Kieran Dow will take this one down. Out to Angelino. Steps back inside. Archbishop is taken down there. Referee will have that. Is that a penalty? I don't think it was. I think it must have been outside the box. But Angelino looks hurt. It's a yellow card. So it's Randall over this one. The new boy. This could be uh, a bit of a tall ask. To score a free kick from here, but he's going to give it a go. Connor Randall over the wall, whips it. Had some whip on it, couldn't get anywhere near the goal though. Unfortunate. So triple substitution here late in the game, and it's the first appearance for Albert Rusnak. It's a straight swap for Kieran Dahl. Tammy Abraham and Marlon Pack also coming on. Uh, and I think the first thing to do will be just to put a long ball into Tammy, who will feel aggrieved at not being selected. I don't know how he's lost his place so easily <laughs> to uh, Nigel Roberta, but it just seems that in... Holloway prefers the combination of uh, oh, Rosnak's first attempt to beat a man is not a good one. Angelino clears that up. Rosnak turns away from Hughes to slip it in to Roberta. He'll turn inside. Little trip ball in looking for Rosnak. It back into the box. I think Roberta should have hit that one. For, oh, I can't believe this. Well, not a good start. You could say teething problems with the new players. You could say it affected team spirit I don't know affected the connectivity of the players but we had the chances we should have done better there's no doubt about that poor performance from Nigel Roberta I think there's an argument to give Tammy Abraham another go Loftus Cheek failed to impress Dow and Simeone had a decent game each but they could have done more substitutes obviously Rusnak he definitely failed to impress but he didn't have much time to be fair he only had 10 minutes so it's a draw and that should see us yes off the top of the league oh dearie me 47 points to 49. It's still very, very close in the top four. Only four points separate the sides in the Champions League spots. And Marlon Pack decreases. Well, and things certainly don't get any easier today as we go up against Manchester City. Let's go and put in that bid for Boje because uh, it would be nice to have another option. And we and we really liked him. The player we would really like to sign. Um, why not put a bid in for Dicko while we're there? If we had to bring him back in, would that be a huge loss? Fred Friday, I guess we'd just fallen out of love with him. Just not as excited by him as we used to be. Right, second game. Let's get into it. How's everyone looking? Simeone on a downward arrow. Well, it's Tammy and Roberta. Magnus on a downward arrow as well. Maybe didn't like being dropped for a Darabio. Well, with uh, with Rus... Well, we well, we didn't want to do this, but Amati at centre-back allows us to play Rusnak and Kieran Dow. Can Rusnak play as a central midfielder? It's much better as an attacking midfielder. I think we'll play Kieran Dow as a centre-mid. Give that a go. Becker comes back in on full health. Uh, Randall didn't have the best debut. He's obviously got some craft in that right foot. Can whip a cross in, but didn't quite pay off. Rosnack, we've got to remember. Yeah, explosive, good dribbler. Try and use that to our advantage. And then Abraham and Roberta up front. So Manchester City, not a team who are challenging for the Premier League title this season. They're well out of the race, but always going to be a difficult team to play against. Um, yeah, what more can I say? We're at the Etihad as well, and we're coming off the back of a horribly disappointing game. Bravo with the ball along the floor into Stones. Tammy Abraham does enough to get there. And Kieran Dow will flight a ball into him. Abraham squares it to Roberta. Great tackle there by the Manchester City centre back. Manchester City come away. It's a real battle here so far. First half an hour has been exciting. No huge chances for either side, but it's end to end stuff. And Loftus Cheek puts a challenge in on the player that we think he should probably become, given the chance. The English Yaya Torre, we've called him before. First half nearly over here. Dowell will battle with De Bruyne. Great play from Kieran Dowell. Pass can't find him. 
Well, that's the first half over, and this has been a really, really disappointing game. Not a single shot on target from either side. Manchester City, although they're not competing for the league at the moment, they're certainly competing well in this game. Uh, I, I just don't know. We seem to be in, in poor form at the moment. Maybe the new signings and the loss of such experience as Matthews and Friday, maybe that's, that's affected us. Rossiter slips it into Abraham. He'll turn John Stones really well. Little slip ball into Rusnak. Goes for the chip shot over Bravo. Bravo came off his line so well there. Rusnak couldn't find the finish. Nigel Robertha now slips it through the middle into Tammy Abraham. Lays it into Loftus Cheek. Looking for the overlap of Becker. He'll put a cross in for Tammy Abraham. Schultz headers away. Joe Gomez will get there. That's good running from the centre back. Becker turns Navas. And Becker now strong running. It's away from Aguero. Aguero comes across. Does get a challenge in. But the danger not cleared here. There's Rusnak. Just a whip and an early ball for Tammy Abraham. will get up and head it. Bravo gets the save in. Bristol City starting this half well. Claudio Bravo called into action. More than can be said for the first half. Oh, Aguero turns. This is dangerous here. David Silva gets the shot in. Gabriel can only push it wide for a corner. First chance of the game there for Manchester City. And it's a silver snapshot. But they do have a corner here. Aguero comes off. Iheanacho comes on. They're going to play it short here into Torre. Loftus Cheek does quite well to prevent the corner cross, but it's not out, and it's he. Ho oh, ho ho, it's Navas who blazes over on his left foot. Can't really see him scoring a goal of that quality. All down the line, looking for the substitute, Ian Acho. He's on for Aguero. Steps inside of Amati. Manages to get it away, but second time of asking, we find him. Amati makes the mistake, ball inside to Navas, hits it. It's off the bar, off the post. Ian Acho on the rebound. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe he's missed that. I can't believe. How big a mistake this was. Look at this from Amati. Just slips it back into the path of Gundo. And the first shot is off the post. Second shot, which should have been a goal, is pushed wide by an Iheanacho. Oh, barely had the ability to even talk that quickly. There's a horrible, horrible thing almost happened. Oh, Loftus Cheek is taken out there. Referee. Loftus takes it quickly into Becker. Loftus Cheek then back out to Becker. That's lovely play. Becker into the box. We'll put a ball in. Nigel Robertha hits it. Side netting. Well, that was it there. Late substitution here with uh, Randall and Pat coming on. Does feel like we maybe shouldn't have sold Fred Friday. Maybe we do need to sign a fourth striker. We seem a little bit light now. Marty will jump with Ian Acho. We'll get away, but Rosnack will. Off to cheat first time into Robertha. That's nicely played. Robertha looking for the runs here. Again, Nigel Robertha indecisive, but he'll find his way into the box. Nigel Robertha with the left foot. Oh, they all stood off him there. He had a chance. Had a chance to seal this one. Iheanacho. Joe Gomez. Great ball. No, can't get it away. Caught in possession. Iheanacho steps inside. Roster is there. But that'll be full time here at the Etihad. And it's another draw. And it's a really, really disappointing one. We've tinkered too much. Ian Holloway has become the Tinker Man, something that he really has never been. With only two shots on target, we've had one of the worst games of the season so far. Tappy Abraham gets man of the match. Don't really know if he showed anything. No one did, though. No one did. Rusnak was poor. Have to say, De Jong would have been probably just as good as that. We miss Simeone today, who's been the brightest spark for us. Oh, dearie me. We haven't slipped any further, and United, thank the Lord, have also slipped up, so we're only a point behind them. That's fine, as long as we keep them within striking distance. End of the month report. Look at that. Seven goals in six matches for Giovanni Simeone. We missed him definitely in the last game. Although we've uh, failed to impress in general this month. Three wins, three draws. I don't know if that's really championship form, but at least we're not losing any. We haven't lost one in a while. So with only four days to go until transfer deadline day, Boje and Dicker have both broken down. Okay. Basically now we've got four million to sign a striker. Uh, we should have just kept Boje. We could have signed him. It would have been so easy. Zivkovic, probably won't be able to get him for four, but we'll give it a go. Um, we're definitely not signing Holscher now. We've got way too many midfielders. Or Chiloba. There's no need for that. Let's keep cracking on. Transfer deadline day is going to be on us before we know it. So Zivkovic has come back. I doubt we're going to be able to sign him. We won't be able to... Oh, Rosnak's out till February. He's out for a month. That's a real blow. That's disappointing. Zivkovic, 14 million. Yeah. We'll put another bid in for Boje. And and why not? Well, we're still here. Kasper Dolberg, a player that we considered. We shouldn't have sold Fred Friday. That was a mistake. But we needed to 
for monetary reasons, but uh, yeah, I'm starting to maybe regret that. Let's go to transfer deadline date. Okay, so we're going to have to do a bit of dealings here, if we can. Um, Boje and Dolberg have both come back. We're never going to get Boje for the 4 million that we originally had. That was the mistake we've made. That's the mistake we've made this transfer window. Yeah, they want 13 now. He was at, he was at 4 million before. Oh. Or Dolberg on a free transfer. Yep, yeah, well, we'll definitely, we'll definitely take that. Did not spot that, but it's great because we are on our one free transfer. And uh, that is going to be Dolberg. So that's our four striker sorted. Um, yeah, pleased with that. Didn't see that coming. Not Boje, but Dolberg is a good striker. Maybe not as good as Fred Friday, but he's a more all-round player than Fred Friday was. And he joins up with the squad. Wow, good stuff. We've had a scouting report in. We've still got that four million to spend. Doubt the scout's going to have anything for us. We don't need a left back or a centre back anymore. I honestly don't know what we're going to do with that four million, so I'm just going to leave it. I just don't care. We're done. We've got a striker. That's it. We're not going to get any better players. We're not going to improve the squad with that four million, so we'll just keep it in the bank. Keep the investors happy. Uh, team of the month, no one included, and that's because we've not been playing that well. But we need to change that today at home against Chelsea. This is a huge game. No doubt about that. Chelsea can go ahead of us here if they win. They will go into second if they can get a win today. Bristol City on a poor run of form. Let's see how everyone's doing. Well, Roster and Angelino both looking good. That's encouraging. Rusnak out till February. That's a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Especially with the new signing that it feels like we probably didn't need. Dolberg, the new signing, will come in as a capable replacement at centre forward. A really good all-round player. Um, decent passer as well. Better than Friday in that sort of... Uh, that sort of area and his attacking prowess is pretty good as well but uh i think we'll stick i think we'll stick with roberta and simeone up front that seems to have worked well for us and then uh everyone else stays as it is uh except for randall i think we will bring in randall again for becca he had a decent debut we've got to remember he's a good passer got to try and whip some balls in let's get into it against a, a very strong chelsea side as we know who are pushing us all the way in the league at the moment so we started this episode so confidently three new signs we thought we'd got in Three great players, three improvements over the ones that we sold, but now we feel a bit lacking. I don't know what it is. This run of form can happen. Luckily, we're still well within a shout of the title. We're not dropping away that much. We're only a point behind. A win today against Chelsea would be a huge statement for Bristol City that we're, we're still in this. We're, we're here to defend our Premier League title. We're here to win the treble. Uh, we've slipped up in the last couple of games, but we can come back from that. Fabregas. Nice ball to find Pedro. Under pressure from Rossiter, who wins that back with such strength. Simeone, ball into Roberta, finds Kieran Dowell. He'll look to push it into the path of Loftus-Cheek. Let's it fall over his head. Hits it well. We haven't heard the Ruby, Ruby, Ruby chant in a while. And that looked to be a pretty good example of a time that we could have done. Kieran Dowell just held off. It's a lovely weighted ball into the uh, English youngster. Just puts it wide. We haven't seen a goal from him in a while. And now Connor Randall, his first touch of the game. To take on Nasri. Finds the ball past him. Off to cheek. Little chip ball into Kieran Dow. Maybe not the friendliest, but we get away with it. And that's a nice ball into Randall. He'll slip it down the line to Kieran Dow, who's continued his run from midfield. Steps away from David Louise. Will whip a ball in edge of the box. Loftus Cheek will take it on the left foot. Courtois pushes it wide. Loftus Cheek really wants to score against his old club. Obviously, he's got a point to prove when he comes to Chelsea. Or when Chelsea come to us even. And this was a lovely little knockback from Rossiter. And that was going in. Good save by Courtois. Hazard now looks to take on Joe Gomez. Well held up there from the centre back. And we win it back. And Gomez into Loftus Cheek. Dow back into him. Definitely looking to play today. Roberta looks to slip it into Simeone. Zuma will get there. Courtois will be able to clear. Half an hour in, and we're putting the pressure on. Rossiter, nice play into Loftus Cheek. Now Simeone will hold it up. Looking for the overlapping run. But it goes into Loftus. Cheek hits it with the left foot. It's rebounded into the gloves of Courtois. It's a mistake there. Now Simeone will look to chip it into Roberta Rodriguez again with the acrobatics. Dow into Rossiter. Back into Kieran Dow. Looks to take on David Louise and take it to the line. Almost nutmegs him there. Oh, Loftus Cheeks won it back, hits it. Oh, Ruben! Ruby, 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 Ruby. Oh, Loftus Cheeks. Do you, do you, do you, do you? Probably not as much as you should, but to score against your old club, that's big. And he's been pushing for it all game. 
been playing like a man possessed. It was a pretty, pretty fortunate to fall to him. Kieran Dow went for the uh, cheeky nutmeg there, but Conte is dispossessed, and it's Loftus Cheek who comes away with it, and that's a great finish. Finally, Courtois is beaten, and we're ahead here. Ooh, poor tackle, but Chelsea will play an advantage here. First half nearly up. Dow jumps for it. Doesn't quite get it away. The shot comes in. Gabriel with a great save. It's first half nearly over, but Chelsea will have a chance for the corner before the end of the half. Fabregas over this one. The last kick of the half here. Gabriel will come for it. Easy take for the Brazilian. He eats corners for breakfast. And uh, that'll be half time here. We've got the goal through ex Chelsea player Ruben Loftus Cheek. Been all over Chelsea today. Third in the league, just below us in the league. Uh, but we're looking to be much, much stronger here at home. Ah, oh, Rosta, Rosta wins it back and then finds Amati now. He'll storm forward, the defensive midfielder. To slip it into Roberta, doesn't find him. But Amati will hit it now. Courtois can only push it wide. Oh, Amati's won it back. Didn't quite get there. Angelino, good sliding challenge. Keeps the ball for us. That's beautifully weighted into Roberta. Courtois off his line. Really quickly there. Rossiter, first time ball into Simeone. He's looking for options here. Angelino's made a great run. Well held up there from Simeone. And Angelino will hit it. He'll fall to him again. Will he finish? No. Come on. The Archbishop. He could have finished the game off for us. Nice ball out to Eden Hazard. Randall can't get in the way of it. Diego Costa. Oh, Magnussen has to clear wildly. Kurt Zuma comes out with a great header. Prevents Simeone getting it. Oh, William slips and he'll regret that. And now we're away. Roberta can slip in Simeone here. He's ahead of Kurt Zuma. Giovanni Simeone into the box. He could win the game here. Courtois with a great save. And Rodriguez can clear. But only as far as Roberta. He'll twist and turn. Fabregas with a great challenge. So with four minutes left, it's some uh, extra defensive legs. And Tammy Abraham comes on for Roberta up front. Only four minutes left, but we've really looked like chucking this one away. We just need to stay safe. And there'll be a short free kick there from Dowell into Tyrone Mings. He'll look to keep the ball here. Nothing special. Don't be a hero. Go back if necessary. Got this one sealed here if we can keep possession. Loftus Cheek rides the challenge. He goes back inside to Dowell. We're not fucking around here. We want the win. And there it is. Ashton Gate. The fans will be pleased with a 1-0 win against Chelsea. But it was far from easy. Chelsea pushed us all the way. We were able to come away with a really valuable three points against a massive competitor in the league. The stats make it look like we're all over that one, but we certainly weren't. But Loftus-Cheek had the game of his life today. Well, there we go. An exciting episode transfer-wise, but pretty poor in the league. But we're still within a point in Man United. Chelsea slip off us there. Five points behind us. Arsenal now going to third. Amati increasing. Becker increasing. That's all good. And the next game will be against Everton. So another tough game. Uh, but we've come out of what has been a disappointing run of form with new players coming in and not quite performing. And we're doing all right. It could be a lot worse. I'll see you in a bit.